Greeting everyone and welcome to this educational channel. Our topic today will be about the chemical oxygen demand. And chemical oxygen demand is the measure of the amount of oxygen that is consumed by the chemical to oxidize an organic matter that is present in the water. Now the question is why we do COD? The answer for that, it will give us a clear picture about the pollution level in the water. The more the COD means the more the organic present in the water and therefore this will have a negative effect to the environment where this water is discharged. Now let's find the chemistry behind this chemical oxygen demand. The organic matter will be oxidized by a strong oxidizing chemical like potassium dichromate into a carbon dioxide and water. Of course this will happen in acidic condition like a strong sulfuric acid. Now depending on your sample condition you can decide whether you go for low rank or you select a high rank. Now if you are using a ready made vials this video is useful for you. Otherwise please feel free to skip this video at any time. Now this is COD table it will help you to select the right range for your COD measurement. Ultra low range, low range, high rank, ultra high range, ultra high range plus and also it will help you to select the right sample volume. The primary interference of COD analysis is a chloride and it can be minimized by dilution or by adding mercury sulfate. Some COD vials contain mercury sulfate, others they don't have. We prefer the one which doesn't have the mercury sulfate for environment and health concerns. Now let's perform the test. The first thing you do, unscrew two COD vials. One vial will be for your blank, the other one will be for your sample. Make sure to label those two and add 2 ml of a sample to each of these vials. Make sure also the position of the vials will be at 45 degrees away from you and anybody near to you. Next, screw your vials tightly and invert mix your vials. Do not shake but invert mix till the border at the bottom of vials is completely dissolved. Now place your COD vials in the heat block at 150 degrees for 2 hours. Cool your sample to a room temperature and in spectrophotometer zero using your plank then read your sample. I have made a summary of the COD BOD measurement difference in here. If you missed the BOD measurement you can refer to my previous video on how we perform BOD measurement. Now, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. See you in the next video.